Hello. How's it going, everybody? Uh, thank you very, very much for the $50 donation, Dan. Why you gotta be doing that before everyone shows up, you fool? Everyone including me! I was still setting shit up! Come on now. I am very appreciative, though. So... Back to the good life today. It's been a minute since last time, what with being unwell not lending itself particularly well to a game with as much dialogue reading as this one. But... Maybe I will be able to remember at least some of the stuff that I was doing last time. Let's find out, I guess. So... Go ahead and pause that. What? Get a window screen, homeboy. No. Bullshit. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't just do that. You didn't just donate another $50. Come on. Come on! I, I will get a window screen, alright? Jesus. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Captioner. That's, that's not what I said and you know it. That's not what I said. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Do we have audio? All right, so last time we tried to go up a mountain and it didn't let us.
feel so refreshed. Alright, how's our photos? What's the photo sitch? Bad. Not a lot of... Literally zero for a photo that has a buzzword and everything. Well, let's upload some photos anyways. And let's check our quests. Uh, uncover the secrets of Rainy Woods, sure. Uh, go to the White Residence, 1977, so we can drink. And then go up a uh, Frozen Mountain, which is definitely what you want to do. Uh, let's see. Photo of George while he's a cat. Chestnut Bolet. Currently 1 p.m., which is as good a time as any to go get some stamina buffs. Alright, there's that dude. Apparently, that plant has... Oh wow, three... Three things that I want photos of. Oh, you have another quest? Welcome to the house of God. Oh, but hey, we're up for a duel? You betcha. Mind if we make it interesting again, Vicar? Of course, uh, let me know once you're ready. Forever drinking. Is this just... Defeat him in a drinking battle. Alright. Hey. Oh, wait. Uh, I need a drink. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, um... <sighs> um... The Drink Queen rides again. Do I need the drink for today? Hey. I need a drink. Beer of the day. Ah, oh, I already had it. Um. Let's see. Give me some food. I feel like there was another... Was it you? Stamina saver, stamina regen. A lot of different kinds of tea. Ooh, butter chicken. <laughs> I could go for some butter chicken. Alright, uh... Boigas. Stamina boost. Stamina saver, stamina regen. Sure. So let's eat that. Uh... Alright, stop into the Fancy and Bunny. Not to get a, uh, not to do any clothing crafting, god no. Oh, it's you. Even though I would like to. Uh, well, since you have it on sale. Give me your fabrics. And give me your drinkings!
just in case this final drinking battle proves to be a significant challenge, which it very well may. Emma's parents are no longer with us. Yes, my son and his wife both died in a tragic accident. Why can't the Lord let us fogies drop out first, I wonder? Damn. That's heavy, dude. Oh wait, what's the description for this quest? Time for another fun duel with the Drink King, by which I mean it's time to crush him and get my hands on all that sweet bet money. Alrighty. Oh, I can choose the bet. I mean, 30 pounds, obviously. Oh, I see you're out to strike it rich today. In that case, I won't hold back, little lamb. You really thought you could defeat me? You're a cheeky one, all right. But you've hardly drunk at all! It's so weird that you control the ball and not the teeter-totter. Ah! This is nothing! Oh my, perhaps I underestimated you a little bit, little lamb. Ah, fuck! Can't drink any more. Blah. Try that again. God damn it. He's like, nah, you you drank too much, idiot. Come back in ten years. Do I already have a photo of Horatio for the quest? Need Martha Berryman, Rudman White, Alan White, Ian White. Henry Poe, and George Ficori. So I need the kids? I need the vet. I can go get the vet right now. Being drunk doesn't give you a badger fighting bonus. Yeah, tragic. There are ways to get badger fighting bonuses. Like, there are attack and defense boosts that you can get. <laughs> no matter how good they may feel in body and mind, humans can still crumble from the smallest of trifles. Yeah. Do take care. Uh, let's chat. Sorry for the sudden inquiry, Hayward, but would you be interested in any further exp- I mean, treatment? Whoa, whoa, back it up, Doc. Did you almost say experiment? <laughs> of course not, you must have misheard me. The truth is, I'm on the verge of perfecting a cure for alcohol addiction. So I need you to drown yourself in, in drink until you become an alcoholic yourself. Oh! Thanks, Doc. Go on. Of course, I'll pay you well Seriously? for it. You're gonna pay me be to become an alcoholic? Yeah, Sounds like a dream job to me. Woohoo! Time to partay! This is gonna be fun. Great. Become an alcoholic and get cured by George? Question mark? All right, Doc. Whatever you say. Uh, I will drink this drink. Hey. I need a drink. Uh, whiskey with hot coffee. No. Uh... Do you have any drunk L's? Oh, there we go. A cocktail made from apple schnapps flavored with cream, rose tea, and grenadine. Do not go gentle into that good night. Smoked old-fashioned. 
distinguished bourbon cocktail flavored with bitters, torched orange peels, and smoke. A blowtorch really makes the flavor in this old-fashioned. Mama's Sassy Tea! A, co a vodka, vod vodka cocktail mixed with carbonated milk served best with, best with olive garnish, a sweet and savory beverage that takes you back to infancy. Yeah, sure. Bottoms up. You're totally wasted. I need a drink. Gimme... Give me the sleepless ambition. Whiskey on the rocks, flavored with strong coffee, dark chocolate, and a little cayenne powder. A spice delight for those night owls with much to do. It's sad the drink sounds good because you'd never be able to ask that <laughs> ask for it from the bartender. I mean after a couple of drinks it might be a little easier. You're drunk as a skunk. I need a drink. All the details in the drinks makes you wonder if they are actual drinks that Swery had while traveling. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure. Swery is the original drink king, after all. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, what was the pessimistic philosopher? A cocktail made from the tears of late Rainy Woods Thinker flavor of a late Rainy Woods Thinker flavored with curdled milk for the b birth of life, blood for the pain of giving, and dirt for the grave end. Served half empty. It will never fill you. Great. Give me the old fashioned. I give you a drink, bartender. Grey Nebulae. Stick a fork in me. Naomi, what are you doing? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, my money. <laughs> oh, my money. Killed by alcohol! Drinking too much alcohol will turn you into an alcoholic, so try and exercise some temperance. Oh, Ish, I drank way too much. I can't even remember how I got home. It's Monday. Ah, I just lost 700 pounds. Ah, George, you fucker. Starting to think George just likes to see you suffer. I didn't even become an alcoholic. I just passed out. Oh God, 700 pounds is so much fucking money. It kind of works out, because I, you know, I needed it to be Monday anyways, to get the final drink of the day. Feed me. Do you have anything that makes me not drunk anymore? Sobered up. Alright, uh, so we got small sobered ups. Do you have any large sobered ups? I'll, I'll have a tikka masala, sure. Yeah, 
Yum yum. Dying didn't sober you up. Not enough. All right, give me the drink of the day. Here's the beer of the day, your last beer of the week, actually. Boy, that is savage. You're more hardcore than I thought. I definitely agree that my life's become more hardcore than I ever planned it to be. Pointlessly hardcore. Oh, come on, wipe that puss off your face. I don't want that talk in my pub. Besides, nothing, nothing's really pointless in life. You think so? Of course I do. So if some big smarty pants doctor told you that drinking is pointless, you'd actually believe him and give it all up? Ah, eh, probably not. And nothing's ever pointless. Just trust me on this one. I'll make your it'll make your beer taste better too. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess I have no choice but to agree. You really are a pro when it comes to drinking. You know just how to get the most enjoyment out of it all. How about I help you enjoy your beer some more then? Truth is I give a special present to every idiot who manages to fill a full week of my beers of the day. Yeah, really? Hell yeah! <laughs> Here's your reward for completing my challenge. Don't be a stranger now. Oh no, my dog went up. Thanks, as always. Oh, I got 65 pounds. Wow. That's so much money. Hey. Hey. No rock star, I'm in dire need of a certain drink. Go on, what's the crake? If I can't make it, it ain't worth drinking, like. Pretty sure you can make it. Your little bro told me you could, after all. Could I tr trouble you for an Irish coffee? David's at it again, is he? Seems like a good enough guy. He's smart, and he really looks up to you, too. Don't be daft. He's trying to help a total amateur climb a mountain. You call that smart? Yeah, I guess you have a point. So you'll make me an Irish coffee? This is a pub! Anyone can drink whatever as long as they pay up. Be careful, though, like. David thinks anyone is capable of doing the same things he he can. But if you try and keep up with him, then you'll end up like Oatsy the Iceman being dug up hundreds of years from now now. Yeah. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But first... Oh yeah, give me a Brexit. London gin flavored with urn brew, bush mills, and an, a Welsh leek. A taste of the UK on its own. May take some time to kick in. Hmm. Huh? I thought you wanted an Irish coffee. You should know just, how, just by how crazy a survivalist David is, he won't be satisfied with any other kind of drink. No! How? Hello, mate. What are you doing? I didn't even drink that much. Oh, jeez. Well, it's Tuesday. Can't delete that. Deposit my money. I should. You're right. Maybe you need to train stamina plus resistance. Fucking maybe. money am I down to? 285! God. I, I just lost over a thousand pounds.
Ugh. You're now now an alcoholic. Great. That's what I wanted. Time to reload. No. I must commit. Uh... Elixir of Dreams, there we go. Oh, he's not at work yet. <laughs> I have lost more money to alcohol now than I have lost to badgers. Fucking train, relax. Oh my god. It's going so slowly. Please pass. George, help. I lost almost all of my money and am now extremely slow. Help. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Hayward? <laughs> uh, the room's getting all bouncy. I feel like I'm at the bottom of the goddamn ocean. Yeah. Yes, well done. This is perfect. Now just swallow this and your addiction should be cured. <laughs> How are you feeling? Cure should have worked by now. How do you feel? Yeah, baby! Whoa, man, I can't believe you actually managed to cure an addiction. This is like a dream come true. By the way, Doc, why are you all waving around like you're a piece of seaweed or something? Hmm. Fortunately, it looks like the cure didn't work on you. Seriously? What? What the hell are you talking about? Really, no. It worked in the animal trials I performed, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on humans. Oh shit, what am I supposed to do? Help. <laughs> Oh, good thinking. I hadn't even considered that option. The cure should work fine on you as long as you're in this form. Once you take it, transform back into a human and let me know how you're feeling. Yeah, baby! So how do you feel? Yeah. Well, I'm not hallucinating anymore. I guess I'm all better? Good, that's a relief. Yeah, Doc, you had me really worried there for a minute. Yeah, baby. Now time to have a little celebration to commemorate my first day as a former alcoholic. Hmm. Are you sure it really worked? Well, no matter. I think I'll shelve this cure for the time being. Yeah. I always keep Rita's alcohol intake under strict supervision, you know. If she ever becomes an alcoholic, I'll have to use some other kind of bad medicine on her. What? Is he trying to say that if Rita ever betrayed him, he'd kill her? Here's your reward. As an apology, I included a bit more this time. Feel free to keep drinking. In moderation. <laughs> Thanks, as always. Well! I mean... 208 pounds is all right. I'll take it. That is... A fifth of the amount that I lost. But it's better than, like, a tenth, which is kind of what I was expecting. Only lost 800 pounds in total. Yep. Doing great. Hey. Uh, I need a drink, except not actually. I think there was one meal here. Stamina saver and stamina regen. Yeah. I like how I am still somewhat intoxicated. Uh. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Right, I need a photo of Martha having lunch. But it is not yet lunchtime. What else do I need photos of? Oh, right! I gotta go shear some sheep. Oh, what? Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Alright, Abdullah the Baba and. Skull Junk, right. Fluffiness level up. All right. Uh, slow life on the farm. Hey, Lonette, I sheared my sheep. Let's chat. How's the shearing coming? Good job, looks like you managed to shear the sheep three times. Oh yeah, it was super easy. Now it's time for... Now it's finally time for my... Not so fast, love. You're not getting jack shit until you've finished all your tests. That wasn't all of them? Not even close. Next, I want you to ride a thousand yards on a sheep. Feel free to, re feel free to ride as many different sheep as you like, but you gotta ride 1,000 yards total. All right, that's it. I'm calling bullshit. This is nothing but boldface padding, plain and simple. And have I, I've had enough. Padding? I don't know what you mean. I've no reason to draw this out. I've just taken a fancy to you, Naomi. I want you to become a proper expert in sheepmanship. I'm already an expert at photography. Isn't that enough? All right, hypertext. Come on. This will happen naturally enough. Mark 20 marking points. Uh, get some chunks. Chestnut bolet. I don't remember where I had gotten chestnut bolets. Uh... Are the kids here at Town Hall? Oh right, Charlotte was the kid that was at Town Hall. Uh, I wonder where Henry hangs out when it's raining. Can I open this? No? Weird. Alright, well now I'm just kinda gonna kill a little bit of time until it's lunch. And see if I can get the photo of Martha having lunch. Sober it up a bit. You feel a buzz coming on. Your inebriation has started to affect your stats a little bit. Alright. Lonet, I'm so good at sheep. Please give me money. How are the 1,000 yards coming along? Wow, now that's the face of a pro. I reckon that means it's time for your final test, love. 
Yes, the final test. Please, I'm begging you. My ass can't take much more of this. Lude. Alright, calm down. The final test is an easy one. You'll like this. Break a thousand... Yeah, no. A hundred barrels and boxes while riding on a sheep. Now you can finally let loose, destroy, pulverize, rain judgment on the feudal constructions of man. You mean I have to get back on a sheep? Oh, I wonder if... Mr. Nightfella... That was something that I had been forgetting to do, and doing my my daily sheep challenge while I'm passing out for days on end probably would have been a good thing to do. A thousand yards went a lot faster than you expected. Hey, Hypertext's a fast boy. Uh... Right. I was trying to remember where Mr. Nightfella was, but also... Lunchtime. Is anyone actually getting lunch? Is anyone getting lunch? Great. No lunch must be because it's raining, I guess. Ooh. Who knew that becoming an alcoholic would be so dangerous? Yeah, crazy. I want to race. Give me the trial three. easy to get from out of being stuck. Oh man, seems like I'm actually cutting it a bit close. Wow, 44. I think that's like my worst time yet. Yeah, baby. Still got 455? Damn. They must have buffed the the payouts for for those races cuz it used to be 350. Four hundred and fifty-five. I'll I'll have my thousand pounds back tomorrow, basically. Look, the, the I, I I'm still good at racing the sheep, but I was much more concerned with breaking boxes on that run. Got thirty seven out of it. It's pretty good. Are you saving up for anything? There's a bunch of stuff that it would be nice to have purchased. Uh, better camera. I think there's some, like, crafting material stuff that I can uh, dump money into. Speaking of crafting material stuff... There's the cave, the quarry. 
Here's the mine that that's for quest. John Peel's pot. Uh Sure. Let's go up there and see about that. I think I'll just ride Hotfix all the way up there. Not Hotfix. The hot, the hot, the hypertext. Oh wait, I should stop by the house and leave some cooking ingredients. Because I'm going to be doing some mining! Seed, 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 seed. Rosemary. These nuts. Marshmallows. Seeds, seeds. Uh. Hmm. There we go. I wonder if upgrading my house will also upgrade my storage capacity. That would be pretty neat. A lot of trains rolling through and they are taking their dear sweet time in doing so. I think I know where I'm going. Oh, let me through. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <coughs> Wait, let me let me go under the bridge. Okay, fine. I'll hop this tiny little fence. Here comes a special boy. Oh my god, trains. Yeah, baby. I did it, I'm sober. I don't remember if the deer showed up in the northern areas or the southern areas. Because I do need a photo of a deer. Actually, while I'm in the neighborhood... Quick run around, see if we can get a chestnut bolet. Or a marking spot, or literally anything. Really? Nothing? Seems like I'm finding nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh, 
What is this place? to where I need to go, or where I want to go. Oh wait, isn't this place in one of uh, the dude's photos? It is! Old St. Arden's. Okay. Now the question is, I caught a cold, goddammit. Okay, that looks like from the s from Wait, no. This isn't the place. God damn it. The right place has a uh a, a tablet in the middle. Damn it. What is that? Yeah, baby. What's going on up here? Guess I'll take a photo of that for funsies. Gotta pay the toll to nobody. What? Oh. Yeah, baby. Wait, what was that? Oh, a Yerky. Shrine. All righty. I play Wart Minecraft every day. Need to dig up all these materials so that the Dark Souls man will let me upgrade my house. So that I can stop having cobwebs in my house. <laughs> I 
didn't feel so. Oh dear. Do I have any any solutions to being tired? I have a first aid kit. I have multiple first aid kits. I do not have any Red Bull. New Halo has cat ear power armor helmet. Yeah, I, I need to know how you get that, because I need that. I, I have a strong need for cat ear helmet. Absolutely zero hesitation in wearing that. You will look. I I will appreciate. I thought about playing a bit of Halo today before switching over to the good life, but... Even if my computer could handle it, I don't know how, how I feel about streaming that kind of game. Because I, I like it. it. I'm I was having a good time playing Halo last night, but... I don't know how great it would be as a viewer experience. I would like to warp home. It's Wednesday. Oh right, the Chad tree. The cat of your helmet is one of the random unique bot armor spawns that the bots can have. I... they will... they have to let the players get their hands on that. They gotta. I would like to sleep six hours. Cat Helmet DLC. I will pay for the Cat Helmet DLC. I will spend money on that. Uh... Oh right, it's tomorrow, so now I can go do another sheep race. Yeah, baby! Give me the money. Oh, he's not here right now. Meowlnir is the cat bot. <sighs> I mean, it is cute that the, the bots get unique stuff, but I, I want it, though. But I would like the unique stuff. Pfft. 
Let me be a kitty, Spartan. I hear hammer noises. Ah. Allow me to race. Yeah, it it would make sense that they are using the bots as a way to like Ooh, here's here's a little sneak peek at some armor that you can get later. But I want it now. Give me the cat ears 343. I also wonder if the, the campaign is going to be any good. I would certainly hope that they offer some kind of, like, here's what you missed if you stopped playing at three kind of thing. Because that is no small demographic. Give me the money. And also, mm -hmm. you'll probably do a recap of four and five, though you didn't miss much by skipping those. That's that's my understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, I need some materials. Uh, what did I need? I need three iron chunks and three bronze chunks. I need two more bronze chunks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need three of these. And while I'm here, tan these leathers for me. Did you buy a better backpack yet? No. Mm -hmm. Because the stuff you need for the better backpack is... Uh, you need a lot. Uh, let's chat. Hey. Yo, Clanky, I found all the stuff you need. Hi-ho, Prime! At long last, I may commence my toil. Good to hear it. By the way, did you finish that estimate yet? I, in a few... In few, the remodeling shall cost thee 250 pounds. What the hell? I thought you said you were going to give me a discount. Forsooth, that rate scarcely, scarcely differeth from the raw material cost. Now prithee, regreet me with the proper capital. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. The McAvoy Construction Company provideth accurate, satisfying service in the safest of manners. May thy day be a safe one. Mm-hmm. I want to remodel. May I remodel thy dwelling? It shall cost thee 250 pounds. That's so friggin' expensive, but... Oh well, not like I have any other options out there. The rate scarcely differeth from the material cost, but I assure thee that my worth shall be splendid. I shall spare no blood, sweat, or tears until I complete thine order. Tudor House. Unique half-timbered house filled with rooms and furnishings to help you live a stylish, comfy life. 
It shall cost 250 pounds. What say thee? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, I shall commence anon. Ha! No greater ta task hast I seen o'er these seven years day. Oh, how a true knight's blood doth boil. What does being a knight have to do with construction? Since the age of ancient Rome, constructing one's stronghold has also always been a knight's responsibility. You sure? Come, if I cannot convince thy mind, I shall prove it to thine eyes. Ha! Whoa! Holy shit! That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, 250 pounds seems like a pretty swell deal for that. Rejoice, for my tile hath ended. Seriously? Oh, nice work. Now it actually looks like it's fit for a human instead of a rabbit. Wait, hold on. How did you do all that, that so fast? Don't tell me you just rushed through everything and the walls are going to come crumbling down in a few days. Oh. I merely performed a night's work. In a few, in few... My pride hath embalmed into every inch of the dwelling's walls. Brief was my work, but steady were my hands. Alright, if you say so. If thou wouldst engage in further remodeling, orders may be organized in thy catalogue. Forsooth, thy dwelling hath metamorphosed into a fine manner fit for any good knight, but thy garden. The garden? Who cares about the garden? O oh, me, the gods! Thou wouldst trifle a perfectly fit garden. Thou art a photographer, art thou not? Thou should possess a profound passion for beautiful floral scapes. Well, uh, uh, true. Regret me once thy fitments art complete. This night shall serve thee in any, at any manner of interval. Garden 2.0. Yeah. They plan to do fracture events, and the first one will be the bot samurai armor, so that pretty much confirms the cat spartan will be coming. Nice! Alright, let's check out the new house first. Whoa! Holy shit! Home sweet home indeed! This place is beautiful! Oh my god, is that a new computer? The town gave Naomi a free house because she knew she was going to go through the effort to upgrade it while paying them for it. Yeah, that wallpaper? Oh my god. What an absolutely beautiful home. <laughs> Can't actually go in any of the rooms upstairs because... I don't have any need to, but man, I'm clutched together some a new computer with some spare balsa wood. No, that's what the iron and and uh, and bronze and copper and whatever. That's what that was for. It was to upgrade the computer. He just manufactured all the parts himself. I would like to upgrade my guard and garden work, please. Shall I modify the layout of thy garden? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. I shall modify the layout at once. Choose thy favor from the catalog. I shall sp spare no blood, sweat, or tears until th I finish thine order. A garden made for a free roam decorating or planting, whether it's flowers or vegetables. 58. A styling, a relaxing garden framed by stylish paths and trees. Perfect for tea time. That sounds pretty good. A garden with a cute little house in the center. Perfect for decorating and planting flowers. A stylish garden paved with stones, decorated however your heart desires. A classic rose garden that's perfect for spending tea time in. Mmm. I kind of want to get the most expensive one just to see what it's like. But no, give me, give me Forest Cafe. Mm-hmm. Behold, thy brand new garden! Seriously? Jeez, you're done already. Such toil is but a moment's trifle for a true knight. What does gardening have to do with being a knight? 
As of thou, thou art one of my finest customers. Further garden layout modifications may be ordered from thy catalog just as thou wouldst send out a remodeling Stop order. Fire. Prithee, continue thy gracious patronage at McAv McAvoy Construction Company. Changing your garden layout. Head over to the construction whenever you want to change your garden layout. When you change layouts, you'll lose everything you've planted and your decorations will be sent to storage. Apparently, they have been sent to storage. Yeah, this is cute. I like this. But... Here they are. Uh, this guy goes over here. It's going to be a more subtle summoning circle this time. There we go. Just a bunch of gnomes enjoying tea and gossip. Yeah, of course. Ooh. All right. Where could I get another rabbit? I don't remember. Oh, wait. I think I remember where I got the rabbit. Can I put the rabbit on the chair? Yes! Gargoyle. Can I hide the gargoyle in the bush? Perfect. You like my garden decorating? I'm I'm trying. I'm gonna have to go around and steal more gnomes, but. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, right. My stamina is fucked because I caught a cold. Hey, construction man. 
I want to remodel. Oh, man. A deep red Victorian-style house. The interior is also red-themed, making it a very unique abode. Oh, I do love red. Alright, we'll save up for the red house. Mm -hmm. But... I want to decorate my garden. Oh! This is how I get... Oh, no! They require crafting materials! God damn it. Man. Arcade machine? What? <laughs> These require game boards. I wonder if you could play the arcade machines. British Animal Crossing. Yeah, that, like... Yeah! The crafting materials are so hard to come by in this game, I don't know how you're expected to be able to get all of this stuff. How much time are you expected to put in? Oh my god. Alright, well... Uh, let's see... Oh! Oh. Damn it. Maybe I need to progress the plot in order to get Martha eating lunch. Maybe she's just not gonna eat lunch until I progress the storyline a bit. Because it seems like she's basically always at, uh... What you call it? Uh, at the lake. There she is, walking to the lake. Alright, hey, you have another quest. Let's chat. You know, I've got a little brother named David, right? He always eats the craziest shite, saying it's for survival techniques or whatever. Tree bark, bugs, snake hearts, blech. Seriously? So he's like a walking reality TV show. Everyone's free to eat whatever the hell they want, like, but David's menu is just bonkers. If someone doesn't step in soon, he's gonna get, end up giving himself a bad dose of something with that manky diet of his. You help? You mind helping me find, make a proper meal for that thick sod? Well, you know, you really look after your little brother. A lot more than I thought you would. He's the only family member I've got in this town, like, if I don't look after him, then who will? Alright, I'll bite. Gotta do a little public service every now- once in a while, right? Sound. First, bring me these ingredients. I'm gonna need one cut of rabbit meat, one turnip, one onion, and one potato. Need you write all that down, don't mess this up, and I'll pay you for the trouble. I think I have all of those things? Do I have a courgette? I don't know. Maybe I can buy one. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Here's Paschetti. Ooh, parsnip. I liked parsnip. It's like a weird carrot. Alright, uh, since I'm already here, I mean an onion. Uh, I can also get a potato, but... No, let's just go back home, hit up our storage. Ooh, go back home, I said. Alright, rabbit. Got the rabbit meat. 
potato, butternut squash, parsnip, courgette. A root vegetable famed in Northern Europe and Russia can be eaten raw, but the sweet and umami flavor bursts out when cooked. And... Potato. Deliver the ingredients for a drunken rabbit and turnip pie to Mich Michelle O'Reilly. Knock knock. Hey. Let's chat. Hey. Oi, quality time, and I just brought in some new bottles. <laughs> I ordered them special for you, Alki, so you better get excited. Uh. There we go. Uh. Hypertext, you're kind of getting in the way there. Hey. Did you find the ingredients? Great, looks like you got everything. That should do it for the ingredients. I'll go and start cooking now. Once it's done, I'll need you to take it. To go take it to my brother before it gets cold. Photographer, what'll it be? Uh, sure. I can do that. I heard that turnips taste really gross, but this doesn't actually look as bad as I thought People it would. I often say that turnips taste bad, but it really depends on the recipe. There's some right good ones. I reckon it's a hangover from that famine where there was nothing to eat but turnips. Bad memories, you know. All right. I'm coming, David. I'm also kind of hungry right now, because I I had my meal of the day at a more reasonable time than I usually do. David, check it. Oh, so this is one of my sister's homemade drunken rabbit and turnip pies, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Special delivery. She wants to make sure you eat real food every once in a while. <laughs> I'm sure she does. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Not a bloody thing. Right then, here it goes. Ugh. What's wrong? I hate these pies. Seriously? You look like you're about to cry. You really hate them that much? Don't get me wrong, it does taste good. For anyone who'd be eating it for the first time, that is. This has always been my sister's favorite pie. For donkeys years, she's been making them. Every, every time one turned out well, she'd tell me to try it. At first, I was happy to, of course. They were my big sister's, uh, sister's homemade pies. What kid wouldn't be? Then I had to keep eating them, and one day I started hating them. Everything just changed, like the weather in those mountains. Those pies transformed into something else. Hey, yeah, I, uh, I think I understand what you're trying to say. Up until last year, I was a total to tapioca fanatic. Now I can't even bear to drink a sip of it. Not really sure that's the same thing, but whatever. As long as you get where I'm coming from. <coughs> What's wrong? Don't tell me you're choking now. No, oh, oh, I'm fine. Just need to catch my breath. You sure? Really, it's nothing. I just probably run out of energy. Anyway, thanks for the pie. Tell my sister I said thanks, too. But whatever you do, don't tell her what I really think of her pies, or I'll be the next the next thing on the menu. Dang. Lying to your sister about the food that she makes for you? It's fucked up. It's a fucked up thing to do. Hey, he loved it. Totally. Hey. Uh, David loves those pies. Every time I make them, he can never shut up about how good they are. Yeah, I, uh, I can totally see that. Was he looking alright to you? For the most part, he ran out of breath and started wheezing while I was talking to him, though. Bloody idiot. Sorry, but can I ask you another favor of you? I want you to take an endurance capsule over to it. Yeah. To David. Fine, I guess I could drop it off on my way to do something else. But he's your little brother, why don't you take it to him yourself? Are you out of your mind? I can never do something like that humiliating. Look, I'll pay you an extra fat service charge this time. Just be a pal and deliver it, yeah? Service charge? Ugh, now there's no way I can say no. After all, I'm the world's biggest slave to money! I don't care about that shite, just take him the capsule. 
Oh, it's not just deliver the endurance capsule, it's also go get a capsule and then go deliver it. Great. What's David's animal form? I think David is a cat. And Michelle is a dog. He's a cat and she's a dog? Yeah, it's crazy. Well, it be, sweet at. Uh, endurance. Capsule. Need basil. <laughs> Need rabbit fur. Cut. <laughs> Can I just buy one? Ugh. I'm, I'm, I'm not completing that quest, y'all. It's not gonna happen. I need two more rabbit fur. Do you remember how long it took me to get the rabbit fur last time? God damn. Let's go do main plot for a bit, because it's been an hour and a half and I have not done anything even vaguely resembling main plot. But first... Brain Force supplements. He can get his own Brain Force supplements. George, help! I caught a cold. Oh, please don't. Uh, 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 talk. I just noticed what time it was, and I was worried that he was gonna close up shop. All right, hypertext. Let us away. Uh, let's go to the White Residence. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's over there. I wasn't sure how far it was. Alright, this is where I needed to put the gnomes. Oh, the children! No! What took you so long, my dear Hayward? Now, tally ho, the do door to truth beckons us once again. I don't think they ever shut up. How are you? Damn it, I was hoping it was actually gonna be a cutscene so I could have this little fun sized candy bar. <clears throat> Greetings, Mr. White. Today we have a photograph we'd like to show you. Go on and reveal the photograph to the good sir, dear Hayward. Mm. Heavens, what a brilliant shot! But there's certainly no use in hiding it now. You're right. It was Martha who painted that picture there on the wall. Forgive me. Forgive me for being so forward, but artistically I find that piece rather lacking. How did it come to be hung on your drawing room of all places? Goodman and Martha first met 40 years ago. At the time, Martha was 21 and Rudman was still only 12. Back then, Martha had moved from Rainy Woods to London 
in order to study painting. But after losing her parents in a tragic train accident, she was taken in by the White family. Rudman's father, a tyrannical landowner, was quickly taken by Martha's beauty and made her his mistress. Rudman eventually learned of this, but there was nothing he could do. Nine years later, while studying at university in London, he received a single letter from Rainy Woods. It told, in painstaking detail, her vicious treatment at the hands of his father, which drove Rudman to return to Rainy Woods that evening on an overnight train. Why is the storyteller telling me this? Why is Mr. White not... Okay. Oh wait, uh, uh, Norlock was explaining all of this. Why was Norlock not saying... I, uh, whatever. I gathered all this information from looking through the town's old documents and newspapers. Two weeks after you returned to Rainy Woods, your father passed away. Mr. White, did you board the Orient Express that night? Uh. Ah. There's no statute of limitations when it comes to our country's penal code. Let me just say this. I've always fancied Poirot over Holmes. What? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. As far as matches like those are concerned, I'm also partial to the southern Belgian's logic. And did you invite Martha to the party as well? Uh, we thought about it. We went back and forth on whether she should join at all. But in the end, it was all for naught. For when a cert the curtain fell on the party, Martha appeared right in front of me. She took the sword from my hand and said, This is Kurtana, the Pict's Excalibur. As a Pict descendant, inheritor of King Arthur's blood, the very last daughter of the one true king. Bless you, young, right, young knight Rodman. Bless your courage and your sense of justice. Then Martha fainted and, and fell to the floor right there. I see. The rest of the story isn't much worth telling. Martha forgot all about what had transpired during, during the party, and I was a coward beyond all help. Eventually, Martha chose Thomas to be her husband, and the two married and gave birth to John shortly after. What could I do but offer any blessing I had any right to give? Sounds like you got a pretty raw deal, old man. You got him to confess to murder. Yeah, he, he fucking killed his dad. Preposterous. Oh, heavens no. Martha finally found happiness. I couldn't have asked for any greater salvation. But what about now? Seems like that salvation might not have all been all it was all cracked up to be. Let's say the sword that impaled Elizabeth really was the same antique sword you had in your house. Then Martha could be involved somehow, considering what she said before you... <laughs> considering what she said to you before she fainted. Martha's from the generation who grew up seeing Queen Elizabeth... Bleh. Seeing Queen Elizabeth II reign for the entirety of their lives. As a descendant of King Arthur, maybe Martha gradually gave in to the fabricated rebellion growing inside her. And maybe one day she came to see the false Queen Elizabeth as the ultimate target for her holy army. <laughs> An amazingly incoherent theory, but also a, also a brilliantly amusing one, my dear Hayward. It's not some stupid theory. Psychos commit revenges like these all the time in New York, especially the ones who have melted their brains on acid. Brings a tear to the eye. I thought it was all just a fairy tale. A fictional sword, a fictional king, and a fictional knight. Nope. Fiction can still inspire murder. Even fairy tales. Martha must be in the Kingswood. And as one who has inherited the blood of the one true king, the Kingswood will surely shroud her. But you too can enter the King's Wood as you as long as you possess its key. The King's Wood key, a key that opens the entrance to the forest. Apparently only certain residents of Rainy Woods are allowed inside. It's in your hands. Please, you must save her. You must save my Martha. Huh. 
Whew. Dad told me everything. So it was Mum that went and killed Elizabeth. And she might have stolen the sword and run away. It's hard for me to even imagine something like this could ever happen, but I suppose it ain't impossible. Wait, does that mean John's dad knows everything that Rudman knows? Well, this is a small town. Maybe everyone really does know everyone's dirt everyone else's dirty laundry. But you know what? I still believe in my old dear. She may cook up some pretty murderous dishes at times, and sometimes I'll find all, all my winter undies frozen to death from being left out on the line. She never actually kill anyone. I'm surprised you were able to survive this long. Well, we're family, ain't we? No matter how clumsy one of us is, we can always laugh it off. So, next you see her, could you give this to her for me? Martha's paint set. Martha Berryman's favorite paint set. You can really tell how much she treasured it. Paint set? Looks pretty dry, though. Are you sure you want her to have this? Yeah, this is the one my dad bought for her right after they got married. The green paint's from a different set because that's the first birthday present I ever got for her. <laughs> Let me guess, you gave her your favorite color? <laughs> well, that was quick. Come on, I was just a stupid kid. Get off my arse. But she really seemed to like it, you know? I reckon that's why she keeps, keeps it in her room even to this day. Now, why, how in the bloody hell could a mom like that kill anyone, let alone Elizabeth? Yeah. Alright, alright. I'll be sure to give it to her. I'll even do you one better and bring it right on back to you. <laughs> You just be a good little mechie and wait here, John Berryman. Alright. Well, that was a lot. Wait, no! No! Don't go inside! You bitch children! I need photographs! I need photos! Photos of children! You too. No, stop. Stand still. <laughs> oh, it's you two. Having fun? Oh, Miss Hayward, we have the perfect we have a request for you. Father wants us to perform an ecological survey on his land. He wants us to torture all the poor defenseless animals. What? Look, if you help us out, you'll be contributing to science. Look, we'll pay you, alright? We know yet how much you love money. Here today is an animal to investigate. Here's your target for today. A cute little red squirrel. I wonder where you find it. I wonder if they're dead already. In the mountain, in the forest, in the mountains, in the hills. You have to look round and round. You'll have to scrap with a lot of them. Please inspect five for us. Go beat up five for us. Thanks in advance for your cooperation. Don't worry about putting too much effort in. Okay. Go kill a bunch of squirrels, says the children. Oh, can I just... Can I just leave with this? I cannot. That is for the best. I do not want to spend the time that it would take to carry that all the way back to my house. Alright, uh... Alright. Let's go find Martha Berryman! Yeah, baby! Oh, actually, let's go trim and shear my sheep while I'm in the while I'm in the neighborhood. I'm not doing a great job of speaking today. <laughs> Stumbling all over my words. Paschetti! Jasmine tea leaves. Oh, damn. Looks like Hypertext's power and handling are maxed out.
All right. Yeah, baby. Now we, now that we've got our freshly sheared sheep. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Uh. Yeah, I guess we'll just go the long way around the lake. I do wonder how you're supposed to, like, carry some objects back to your house with how far it expects you to travel. There's gotta be a better way! I could teleport, yeah. I don't think I'm. Oh, oh, teleport with the uh, with the objects. Oh, maybe. I thought you were talking about teleporting to the quest objective. Oh, goodbye, sheep. No road doth lead to the king's break. An unseen path there is to take. Yet since the path can't be perceived, you will arrive right as you leave. Creepy as hell, right? I just started singing it out of nowhere. Why, it's elementary, my dear Hayward. The song is survival is a survival guide to the King's Wood. It means finding the unseen path is the only way for one to get through the woods. The unseen path? Dogs are capable of sensing what humans cannot, yes? You already found out I can turn into a dog, too? The paint set John gave you should be swimming in Martha's scent. All you need to do is memorize it and use it to track her down. Oh, and don't forget to pray at the shrine before you enter the forest. I'm sure you'll be glad you did later. Okie dokie. I'm gonna pray to dog Jesus. And then... Uh, paint set. <laughs> now we got some weird music happening. Rough, rough. <laughs> You look positively gallant, my dear Hayward. Now let us locate the unseen path, shall we? Memorize the scent of Martha's paint set and track her down. Yeah, I already know how to do that. Urgent quest, the King's Wood! Only one thing is capable of leading us to Martha, her scent, which is still attached to that paint set. John gave it to you, remember? Perhaps it takes a bit longer to get a, the, a hold on the basics than I originally theorized. I remember, I remember. Are you sure you remember? But what? I already did! It undid it so that it could do the tutorial. I... <laughs> ah, woo! <laughs> Smashing! Now it's time for us to uncover the invisible path. Behold, my dear Hayward, new footprints. We must be hot on Martha Benningman's trail. But I must say, this wood is a thick one. Keep your wits about you and let your sense of smell guide you onward. Alright, alright.
Mm-hmm. Got some dill. Oh god, Badger! Get get me out of here! Oh god, that was three badgers. Where did they go? Oh god, there they are! Oh. Seriously? Huh? This is the entrance to Kingswood. When did I get back here? Looks like I really have no choice but to sit follow the unseen path. Hellhole. Goddamn hellhole. Like that badgers inspire a primal fear. They the badgers will kill you dead. Portobello. More footprints, my dear Hayward. Judging from their size, shape, and gait, she must have been in a bit of a hurry. She knows exactly where she's going, but and we need to catch up fast. But look at all this overgrowth. Only your nose knows the true way through this forest. Don't lose sight of Hi Martha now, my dear Hayward. Don't lose sight of her, but you told me to use my nose. Ah, whatever. Yeah, Chestnut Bolet, baby! That's quest progress right there. Hello, foxes. I'm not gonna fuck with you. Bolades nuts? Aw, oh, damn! Damn! All right. It appears we found ourselves in a clear clearing, my dear Hayward. <laughs> I knew I was right to put my trust in your ke keen canine snout. Huh. Ah, you're just saying that. Still, there's no telling where when the weather may change and cast that scent trail into the abyss. We need to keep our wits about us, or else let's make haste. <laughs> the Kingswood complete. What the Kingswood guards. Activate the shrine. Oh boy, the serious music is playing.
All right. Time for plot. Is this a grave? Indeed, this is the royal tomb. Every nook and cranny of this mausoleum is filled with intrigue. Look up at the sky, my dear Haywood. Seriously? Whoa. That looks really nice. Holy crap. I'm far from being an expert on the occult, but I feel this barrier may be some kind of black magic. For whatever reason, the royal tomb exists in a zone of perpetual night. Unfortunately. It's times like these in which I wish I could enlist the help of the great Flaxman Low. Oh, I don't think so hard about it. We're already inside a big natural planetarium, right? <laughs> Your ideas are always so novel, my dear Hayward. Perhaps you can use that mystifying imagination of yours to solve our next mystery as well. Our next mystery? Spirals mark the true king's tomb, scrolling waves of ancient doom. Riddles alone protect the treasure, so try to tie what craves a tether. Oh right, the creepy song that had more lyrics to it. You want us to use some stupid kid's song as justification for raiding a tomb? <laughs> Finally! I thought nothing fun would ever happen out here in this hellhole. This is the picture place. I think I need to take a picture of it from up here somewhere. Wood! Loot gnome. Not... <laughs> no. Oh, I can't actually... check my menu and stuff right now. What's with the round and squiggly things? Those are ancient picked runes. Time and energy, that's what they mean. Seriously? Really? They look just like patterns. As does the alphabet. This pedestal is probably meant for something that represents these runes. What? What I mean is, we need to find something that represents the flow of time and place it here. What? The flow of time. Star ornament. Potted big leaf plant. Lemon Cypress. Lion statue. What's. Oh god, it's so heavy. Let's bring it over here so that it's around in case we need it. Broken clock. Oh, I wonder if I need to put a star on this one. What's the star mark for? Star mark? This is an ancient picked rune. Can you guess what this one means? You really think I'm that dumb? I was just wondering why there were so many of them. It's meant to be plural, of course. Oodles of stars, one might say. Pedestal is probably meant for something that represents these runes. What? What I mean is we need to find a bright starry sky and offer it up here. What? Well, I have a star. There's a jar over there. Oh, God. Oh, wait. I wonder if the thing that represents a bright starry sky is the jar, and, like, you see the stars in the reflection. Maybe. Maybe. We'll go with the more obvious for now. And this is... You, you slap your hog onto this one. What's with the shroom? That's an ancient picked rune. It means man. Very straightforward. Pedestal is probably meant for something that represents this rune. But I think this one's a bit trickier than it may look. You think so? 
I'm ask it's asking you to put something on the pedestal that can be instantly recognized as a man, you see. What? Yeah, but what if I put the knight statue on there? I got this one. It's just a picture of a tree, right? Unfortunately. Picture. These are ancient picturooms. Tree and life. That's what they represent. But it looks like the swirly one's been half erased. Erased? No, looks like so whoever drew it never bothered to finish it. The pedestal is probably meant f for something that represents these runes. What? What I mean is we need to find something that represents a lifeless tree and place it here. What? A lifeless tree. Oh, wood. I can't even transform into an animal, so I can't, like, put this on this ledge and then turn into a cat and hop up onto it. Oh, that one did a thing. So, obviously, the other ones are incorrect. Oh. Alright. No, I didn't want to check it. No, I know, I know. If the mushroom one is actually a gnome, you'll laugh. I think it is. It's not. Does a lion represent a man? It's a featherless biped if it gets up on its hind legs. I really like the night sky. One of my favorite mods for Skyrim was one that just made the night sky really pretty. Oh. I was bullshitting about <laughs> about the lion thing, but okay. Huh? Holy crap, I think I did it. Why don't you give me a hand already? I'm afraid I'm the brains of this partnership. More importantly, my dear Hayward, I've one more observation for you. There's a limit to how much strength a human can exert. Perhaps you'll be able to exert more pulling power in a rather different form. Hey, turn into a dog and pull on the chain.
What? Hmm. Halt and kneel in the presence of Britain's one true queen. Sorry, but I'm American. We learned about equality in elementary school, and that Columbus was a hero, ironically. Come on, lady. One true queen. Don't you think that term's been a little overused by now? I know you Brits like you're LARPing and all that, but why you gotta be so dramatic? Insolent cur. The title is our birthright, bestowed upon us by the blood of our ancestors. Your knavish words insult the very name of King Arthur himself. Sorry, but I don't care. Alright, so you're a descendant of King Arthur. Fine. Whatever. It still doesn't mean the damn sword over there is Kirtana. Think about it. King Arthur called his sword Excalibur, right? <laughs> we admire your bravery to step unerring into the depths of our history, but that is all we feel for you. Kirtana is a mystical sword in which spirits dwell, the only of its kind, forged by an ancient Pictish, so Pictish sorcerer. It served as a symbol of King Arthur's might as he sought this, fought on this very soil, a sword beloved by all my ancestors. As I thought, the true Tristan was indeed a female picked warrior. Huh? Why, oh, it's elementary. Pic Tristan was a knight of the round, however the origin of her name actually lies within Pictish culture. The legend of Tristan proved that Pictish warriors served King Arthur. We did not serve him. Our ancestors were King Arthur's equals, his fellow compatriots. But following King Arthur's death, the history books were rewritten so, to, so as to remove that inconvenient truth. Our ancestor was once wed to King Arthur. She passed right after giving birth to our her lord's child. Only after her death did all those scoundrels who fashioned themselves wizards and knights of the round appear. And so Katana was stolen and renamed Excalibur. And all those who knew about the true connection between these two names were lost in the annals of history. Unfortunately. Who can say with certainty that Kurtano lo what the Kurtano lost during the English Civil War even really was? Yeah. Damn, that's a good story. That's just a story, right? Do you have any conclusive proof? <laughs> we are the proof. That is what you expected us to say, is it not? This pendant's name is Katana's Edge. It is crystal filled with the ancient sorcery where spirits dwell within. Without this, Katana is not but a heavy slab of steel. It was passed down by our grandmother as she lay on her deathbed. This pendant is what enabled us to endure all the suffering that life has brought down upon us. But now, now it is time for Katana to truly awaken from her slumber. People of the world, your true ruler has returned. Hey, bargain bin Sherlock. I didn't sign up for this shit. My next deduction may sound suspiciously like an acknowledgement of defeat from a detective who lost all his rationale, but it appears we're in danger. Let's scram, man. No, my dear Haywood, remember our mission. Mr. White gave us that key and told us to save Martha. Seriously? You shitting me? You mean Rudman knew this was gonna happen? The probability is not is high. Martha's mind has fallen terribly out of balance. If she were to brandish a magical sword in this condition, the repercussions could be insurmountable. Fairy tales can kill people, right? Well, what does... Well, does this... The poor woman's... Sh ah. Well, does the poor woman's Sherlock have any sharp ideas? Just one. Rather classical, tried-and-true methodology. Just say whatever you can to get her to stop. Seriously? Me? Are you nuts? Honestly, I believe you have a far higher chance than I. Ugh, fine. Martha, hey, hold up, girl. We need to talk. We must fulfill our ancestors. No. Damn it, she isn't even listening to me. We are the one true queen. In the name of Arthur Pendragon, the world will be. All right, that's it. That's time to pull out the pig guns. Martha, listen up. You'll never be the one true queen. You hear me? Never, never, ever. Do not think you can deceive us with your serpent's tongue. We are the one true queen, the rightful heir to the throne. Let's hear you say that again after you see this.
Martha, I can prove it. There's one big reason why you'll never be the queen. Uh, oh. William! <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. It's the Eva it's the end of Evangelion. Privy, return me to the lake. Carry me down into the water. Tis nary a place for me in the human world. I come to bury, not to praise. Give it me the one true slumber together with my king. Norlock, you're uh, you're a posing a little bit. You two okay? Nah, it's fine. Thou art recognized, hero. Da 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 da. How did I get out here? Kirtana's desire. Throw Kirtana into the damn lake. Yeet. Back to the lake, huh? I come to bury, not to praise. That's our history for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whew, that was a close one. You almost got me with all that melodramatic bullshit. What was I thinking? I bet I could make a killing off of you. Talk about a priceless family heirloom. I can really pay off my entire debt with you alone, baby. Yeah, baby! Finally, some good luck comes my way. Thou, why dost thou refuse to release me? Will you pay off my debt if I do? Say yes and I'll think about it. Forsooth, were I to call upon the spirit's strength, I could bestow upon thee riches most heavy. Oh, really? Then do it. Show me what you got. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> I require my payments up front. Now come on and spit it out. For the lover! Who the hell do you think you are, eh? Coming in here barking orders? Huh? huh? Just chuck me back in the lake. Not bloody rocket science, is it, love? Or is it even that too much for you? You know, suddenly you don't sound much like a spirit anymore. How dare you! I'm the real deal, me! From my hilt up to the pointy bit! But spirits are supposed to sound fancier and uh, use more ellipses and stuff. I'll do one, you prat! Do you think we have the luxury of being polite little daisies in my day? Hark! What a fair woman! I shall do in her husband and take her for my own! Look at him! So full of great wit and wisdom, I'd better ice him for being a smart ass. For centuries now, you flesh sacks have had me chopping each other's bits off like there's no tomorrow! Oh, jeez. Yes, being a spirit isn't as easy as it looks. Finally, she gets it! Now stop being a bell end and throw me in the bloody lake, alright? Or would you rather I crawled under your pillow and screamed, Throw me back! until your mind caved in? Nope. You really have an attitude problem, you know that? Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! And you're really annoying to boot. It's for your own good, you know. Just let me get on with my life. I've taken to play in MMOs and there ain't nothing faster than the Spirit Network. What? Do that and you don't have to lose sleep listening to me bitch nighty night out. Win win! This is what you meant by not belonging in this world. I really have the wrong idea about you. Throw me Well, I'm open to the idea, you know, depending on what I get for it. Sorry, but I'm totally broke from buying too many loot boxes, so... Uh. Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! Throw me back! Uh. <sighs> You're like that bloody Cromwell. Took that twat a whole week to give in. Uh. Throw me back! Oh, shit.
Oh well, they stopped talking at least. And most importantly, no one saw what happened. Maybe it's smarter if I sell the pendant and the sword separately. Yeah, baby! Take that, you stupid spirit. This is what you call a real win-win. Naomi, I get the feeling you're gonna go down in history for all the wrong reasons. Alternatively, something tells me you're on the verge of going down in history as one of its most savage bandits. Are you okay with that? A few days later... And now Naomi killed an ancient sword spirit from British Legends. On using Kurtana for her own personal gain. But after thinking it over, she realized she might get arrested for theft. And so she returned the blade, begrudgingly, to avoid becoming a debt-laden prisoner. Once Kurtana got confiscated as evidence, Martha readily admitted that she'd taken it without permission. But she denied having any part in the murder of Elizabeth. For the time being, she was put under house arrest at the White residence. Meanwhile, Katana was locked away in the town hall as key evidence connected to the case. As for Katana's edge, it seemed to have been lost in all the chaos. Morning Bell's team later discovered a very similar item on a popular online auction house. One furious bidding war later, and it was on its way to their lab in New York for analysis. Uh, a similar thing happened with uh, the other main storyline, the, the sheep storyline. Of course, all the profit Naomi managed to gain from this scheme was intercepted and swiftly redirected to the appropriate people. Yeah. All right, finish my report. <laughs> I'm gonna drink up a storm tonight. Yeah, baby! Cause I'm the drink queen. Why does it always have to be so damn slow? Okay, up. Oh, finally I can check my email. And then I can exact my revenge on good old eBay. Cortana and the one true king. Dear Naomi Hayworth, this is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. Thank you for the amazing report. What a scoop. I could barely sit still. I was so excited. I do have some unfortunate news, though. Honestly, it's infuriating, but the documents containing information on Katana and the One True King have the C mark on them, meaning it's confidential. There are multiple reasons for this, but the biggest problem is that letting this information out could endanger Martha Berryman. Currently, there's a surprising number of people in the UK who believe that the current royal family is not the proper one. Of course, there are also many people who have pledged unflinching loyalty to the current royal family. I imagine 99% of these people are peaceful, but there's always a few bad apples in every group, aren't there? In any case, due to underground movements like that, imagine what would happen if someone revealed the fact that King Arthur's bloodline survives, not to mention the fact that someone has stopped the... Someone has stopped... Stepped up to inherit the once mighty Kirtana could... Wait... That, that sentence, not to mention the fact that someone has stopped up to inherit the once lost Kirtana could. Whatever. In a worst case scenario, someone might try to murder Martha. We did a scientific and i we did a scientific analysis on Kirtana's edge in our lab, but the final verdict was that they couldn't verify whether or not it was genuine. This is especially bad for Martha, since it means the object could easily appear real to someone who wanted to serve, wanted it to serve as the real thing for nefarious purposes. Incidentally, we also considered selling this object to the Department of State, but we quickly changed our minds yesterday when our fearless president posted a tweet that read, I found a cool pendant on eBay that contain called Kirtana's Edge and bid on it. I have never lost a bid in, in any auction before or after I became president, but I lost this one for reasons unknown. Something isn't right with this shifty site. I want the auction transcript. P.S. On a personal note, my mother really loves Martha Berryman's painting style. I, when I was working at home one night, she happened to look at my screen and fell in love with the painting of the giant. Once this thing is blown over, please introduce Martha to her. All right. And Subject Avalon. 
Dear Naomi Hayward, this is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. I received a report from our investigative team re regarding the opinions from the private detective who you encountered in Rainy Woods. From both a historical and scientific point of view, we have no choice but to take a contradictory stance in regards to the opinion that Rainy Woods is Avalon. Uh, honestly, many of our researchers found the detective's theories amusing, while some also commented that, combined with Mrs. Berryman's eyewitness statements, they're worth looking into, but then Dr. Anderson lost his temper and claimed that entertaining such delusions, let alone wasting time discussing them, is nothing short of a crime against human civilization. In the end, it looks like our researchers weren't passionate, passionate enough against, about the Avalon theory to stand up to Dr. Anderson. As far as my personal opinion goes, the theories surrounding King Arthur are certainly interesting, but it's hard to imagine anyone going doing a proper academic investigation of things like Ava Avalon and Morgan de Le Fay. Naomi, you don't believe all that stuff about turning people turning into animals, right? P.S. I figured that if I tried to keep it from you, you'd just find out eventually, so I'd rather... So rather than have you get mad at me later, I'll just tell you now. I'm pretty sure I'm the one who found Cortana's Edge you were selling on your second eBay account. It looked like a beautiful pendant, so I bid on it, but then the tri price got gradually higher and higher, so I posted about it on our Zlack channel, wondering if the so seller had put the wrong price and whether or not this thing was worth investigating. I'm pretty sure that's when things got out of control. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure why I felt the need to apologize to you, but I'm sorry nonetheless. Thanks, Lucy. Just goes to show you should never let your story get too big, or else you'll lose your chance to profit off of it. Eh, life just never seems to want to give me a break. To the era, succession of the throne is always a thorny area, Naomi. And likely as not, it'll probably always be that way. Bearing in mind Martha Berryman's safety, it's not hard to understand why Morning Bell did this. But it doesn't change the fact that you just scored a massive scoop. Keep on like this, and there won't be a skeleton left in Rainy Woods' closets. Oh boy! Three million pounds off the debt. Blade of Mercy epilogue. There we go, speak to a bunch of people. The newspaper putting one person's safety above the scoop is the most p fantastic part of that, yeah. It is a small, appreciated de detail. Oh no. Hasn't the city of Boston ever sued you or anything? Lobster! If the city ever tried to sue me, I'd sh I'd vote all those city councilors out of office. Show them how scary elections can be. Is that how democracy works in Boston? Must be a scary place to live. Damn straight, we don't pull our punches up in Boston. The whole truth and nothing but the frickin' truth, chowd ahead. Boston doesn't ever tolerate people like you going around spreading fake news all the time. Uh, hey, w wait a minute, that report was... The truth? You're really gonna stand here and tell that to my face? Ugh. See, this is why I can't freaking stand New Yorkers. You lack conviction. Someone might die due to the articles you write, no, you know? You ever think of that, yuppie? Shut up. You just stick your nose wherever it doesn't belong without preparing yourself for what might happen. And when it comes to stand up and do something, you turn your little tail and run right out the door. Go on, write your little global innovative story like the rest of those New York losers. Damn you! Screw you. At least I'm actually getting results, unlike all the other useless journalists out there. I'd rather actually write something than sit, sit around and let people treat me like royalty all day. <laughs> hey now, every journalist gets writer's block. That's what it means to be a real journalist, yuppie. You just focus on keeping those deadlines of yours. Productivity's all you got to count on, right? I don't believe this crap. You should be getting the ultimate asshole journalist award, not more jobs. I've never met someone who's more who's been able to insult me by complimenting me for keeping my deadlines. Can we race his bike on a sheep? Ah, oh, that would be great. Restarting the captioner real quick.
Hypertext, let us away. Yo, witchy woman. You look, uh, unique, as always. Ah, oh, perfect diamond, sweetheart. I've been looking for s I There have been some developments. Big ones. Relax, Granny. What's wrong? It's pretty substantial. The whole world will never be the same again. Wait, what? Just calm down and walk me through it. You expect me to calm down at a time like this? Once you hear what's happened, you'll tell your hair out. You probably don't know this, but there's a royal tomb right deep in the forest on the edge of town. And guess what? A huge weird light went shooting out of it. Yeah, I know. You saw it too, huh? Oh, it was too so bright and flashy, how could you miss it? When that white went, light went flashing through the sky, all sorts of ideas started rushing into my head. Delicate, daring ideas, unlike any of the thoughts I'd ever had before, sweetheart. <laughs> like a blend of soft, rich coffee beans, they were ideas to end all ideas. Meaning? <laughs> Meaning I just figured out how to whip up a whole new slew of concoctions, sweetheart. I even got some ideas for concoctions with brand new effects. <laughs> it's a recipe revolution. And we all know you Yanks love those. Yeah, Hell yeah. Thank you, weird lightning. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be weird pills, all right. And you get to enjoy them all. How about that for some fortune, sweetheart? New recipes unlocked. It appears that the spirit of Kirtana left some gifts left behind a gift for you. Thanks to the spirit's magic, you can brew new concoctions at the witch's house. You can carry concoctions in your inventory, so they're sure to come in handy on your tra travels. Be sure to make use of them on your adventures through any woods. See, the spirit of Kirtana wasn't a total slacker after all. Thank you, MMO Sword Ghost. And she's not actually here. She was also a ghost. Oh, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to that location in order to get the uh, the photo. I think the the shrine was pretty close to it, so hopefully it's fine. Yeah, baby. Oh right, the White Estate Cotag. Oh. White Residence Guard. Here for a visit, are you? Fair enough, on you go. But uh, don't feel like you need to ask permission. I'd actually prefer it if you didn't and just went on through. What? I gotta stand here all day with no breaks, so I'm prioritize my energy. It's hard work, you know, this guard business. Make tea? Oh hell yeah. Yeah, Jasmine. Woo! Delicious. Hello, Martha. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hello. From an objective standpoint, neither good nor bad, I would say. Is there something I can help you with, Miss Haywood? Not really. And if you don't mind, may I ask you a question? I'm here to serve, my liege. <laughs> my, aren't you a cruel one? Although I suppose it's only fair. My own question is cruel in its own way, now that I think about it. Remember what you said to me at the royal tomb? You'll never be the one true king, you hear me? 
Would you mind explaining why you were so sure of that? Oh, yeah, I guess I did say that. Well, you'll probably find it pretty insulting. Humiliating, even. Are you sure? You're honestly warning me now, as if I have anything left to lose. Ah, good point. Anyway, it's simple. You gave up on your dream of becoming a pro painter, right? I still paint. Nope. Well, yeah, as a hobby. I saw one of your old paintings. Honestly, it bored the hell out of me, but it did look professional. The painting of the giant. Well, yes, I lacked a great deal of skill back then. <sighs> Skill's the same money, though. You can never have enough. But if that painting of yours was filled with an overwhelming amount of confidence and spirit, I'm gonna become a, I'm gonna become the world's number one artist. In fact, I know that I already am. <gasps> I mean, that's practically what every art student thinks, nope. right? Otherwise, they would would they ever go to art school? The pressure and uncertainty of it all would be lethal. Whoa. I. Anyway, changing subjects. The king is number one as far as kingdoms go, right? The top of the pyramid. Only God stands above them. It's a king's job to sit all alone in the throne room and order people to go and die for him. Oh. Yes, yes, you're right, but... But you, aban you abandoned the confidence you once had. The belief that you were number one. You gotta be really sure if you're thinking, I'm the greatest ruler in history, ruling the world's greatest kingdom. Otherwise, who would ever follow you? Who would ever die for you? Yes, you were right. This is extremely insulting, especially since I can't even think of a retort. That's why in the end you made the right decision. Decision? Yeah. You chose your family, didn't you? Both John and Thomas see you as their number one. Oh. But... <laughs> but what? Honestly, I'm envious of you. If there ever comes a day when you're able to tr truly see yourself as the world's greatest artist again, and you're able to put all your heart into painting again, as a pro, then I'm sure John and Thomas will both be there to cheer you on. <gasps> you don't have to fight alone anymore. That's what makes you so strong. The stupider you get, the stronger you are. Uh, you don't even possess a modicum of common courtesy, do you? I'm sorry, but I can't listen to that voice of yours any longer. Would you mind removing yourself from my presence? Eh, yeah, sure. No problem. See you around. No, oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. John Thomas, will you ever forgive me? Such a stubborn queen. How does she care if anyone sees her crying right now? Like she said, it's not like she's got anything left to lose. Thought she was dead? Yeah, I I was kind of under the impression that uh, the mayor in dog form was going to tear her throat out, but... I guess he didn't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I already marked the spot. Damn it. Oh, spinning gear. I need those. Hello, John. Hey. Yo, Mecky. Were you burning the midnight oil again last hey. night? Oh, Miss Hayward, have you something you wanted to take? You wanted me to take apart? Nah, I just came to die. That. Just came to check up on you. Wouldn't want you to starve to death or anything. Cheers. Sorry for that little incident. So, uh, has everything been at home? Okay at home lately? <laughs> yeah, I suppose we're doing alright. And not at the same time. Humans can be pretty difficult to get along with at times, don't you think? I yeah, can't say I disagree. I think my old man and I are on the same wavelength. We need to wake, work hard and make sure we get by, or else Mom will never be able to relax. But as a mechie, I know it's dangerous to force anything to work too hard, you see? Oh, you mean, uh, metal fatigue? <sighs> exactly. Human or metal, anything will start to give when it's pushed too hard, even machines. But for some reason, people like us keeping a, enjoy keeping ourselves busy, as daft as we may look. My dad started selling mincemeat and croquettes at his shop, but whatever's for sale each day pretty much depends on whatever we had for supper pre the previous night. From what I know about engineers, a lot of them get excited whenever they're up against a new challenge. You're not wrong, and I reckon he also wants to brag to Mum about it when she gets <sighs> home. He'll do whatever it takes not to hear you two can't do anything without me when she gets back. <laughs> I'm just glad you both seem to be alive and all that. Eat right and make sure you get some rest. Uh. uh. I relocated your plant, I'm sorry.
Bonk. Yo, you got a minute? How's life treating you? Oh, if it isn't Miss Naomi! Uh, sorry for lying to you about John and stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, I know you only did it to keep us out of danger. Look, it was an emergency, okay? Desperate measures, you know the drill. Oh, I know, I know. Sometimes you need to break a few rules in order to survive. <laughs> and no matter what happens, your tummy will always continue to rumble. Don't cry over spilt milk, just eat some meat. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but I'm glad you seem to be doing okay. Okay? I'm betting okay. I'm, I did a lot of thinking over these past few days. Oh, I got a tough road ahead of me for sure. But that just means it's time for me to stand up and fight. It's the kind of trouble you can't run from, right? That's right. So I'm going to fight where I've got the best advantage. <laughs> and what's the advantage, you ask? By calling on a fellow neighbor with a loud, friendly voice. If a problem needs smarts, I can just leave that to John. He's got enough brain power for the both of us. Did you hear? He's working on developing something called Telexistence right now. <laughs> oh, sounds cool. Mm-hmm. But I won't let him take all the glory. We're gonna make sure Martha comes home with a smile. Yeah. I'm rooting for you. Blade of Mercy epilogue complete. Uh, I'm pretty sure his animal form also has a uh, mechanical limb. Oh. Hey. Perfect. Uh, not to 1977. First, I finally got the last chestnut bolette I needed. Hey, Bruno. Mm -hmm. Feed me. Oh, wait, no, I need to talk to him, I think. Mm -hmm. right there. Were you able to collect the lovelies I'd asked? This is all you need, right? That's everything. Good grief, you did a grand job, didn't you? I guess it's about time I ordered that VIP dish, then. Ah, uh, uh, well, you see, only starving people can order that seriously? one. Seriously? Are you kidding me? What a pain in the ass. It's pile up with special shrooms, so I want to make sure you don't left any uneaten. I added it to the menu anyway, so try ordering it when you're absolutely Hank Marvin. Alright. I guess once I am Hank Marvin... I will order that food. Alright, still need to break boxes. Uh, let's go earn some money. Yeah, baby. Uh, I want a race! Be <laughs> safe. Which is a two-for-one kind of deal, because it also lets me break some boxes. Yeah, baby. Uh. Baby, indeed. <laughs> An astounding time, Dame Hayward. What a magnificent night that was. Yeah, baby. All right. Uh. Hey, while I'm here. 
I would like the extremely fancy house. And I guess it's done. Yeah, baby. And I do enjoy a good red. Oh, that is a nice red. Like a red brick, but... Boy, howdy. Hang on. Isn't this... This sounds extremely similar to a song from Deadly Premonition 2. Like, the hotel music? Hang on. I don't remember if it was the hotel music. the theme song and I don't want the whistle theme. And also, it's not called the whistle theme, it's called Life is Beautiful. Life is Beautiful sheet music, Life is Beautiful whistle theme, and I want... I want the Deadly Premonition 2 hotel music. It is! That's the music that plays in the lobby of the hotel in Deadly Premonition 2. I fucking knew it! I wonder how many other songs are shared between games. Oh, I have a little upstairs closet now. I actually kind of liked the, uh, the other house a little better. It was cozier. Here are some photos that I took in the Shadow Realm. Oh, it seems like the photos do actually upload way faster with the fancier computer. do I not have photos of? Oh, is it just Henry Poe? I could go find him.
I kind of wish that the, the home upgrades let you be a little more piecemeal. Because, like, I would like to have that first house upgrade, except with the faster computer. <laughs> mm. Trying to remember where Poe can usually be found. I remember there being a little park somewhere, but I don't remember where. Wasn't it here? There he is. Hey. Yo, Grandpa Cool, how's it hanging? What? What's wrong? You got something to say or not? Oh, that's right, you use your violin to speak. How the hell am I supposed to understand you then? I'll just have to memorize it and take it over to Horatio. Oh, God. Good thing my phone has note functionality. I have no idea what you're saying. Wait, where is Horatio? Yeah, baby. Oh, he's at Choich. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, Mr. Vet. Got a minute? What is it, Private? Make it quick now. I'm trying to talk to your teacher, but I have no idea what the hell he's saying. I memorized the tune, though, so could you de decode it for me? Well, I don't see why not. I'm the only one who can understand him, after all. That's right. Many pe different people may live in this town, but I'm the only one who understands him. Yep, me and no one else. <laughs> <laughs> is he trying to brag? Now, what did my teacher have to say? Well, out with it, Private. Hey, cool it. Don't rush me. Let me remember. I think it went something like this. Uh, it was that one. I'm thinking. I see. You figured it out? He said, bring me a small diamond. What? What would that old codger want with a gem? That's not for me to answer. He must have some sort of use for it in mind. Private, you need to find one and deliver it to him. No, I don't. In fact, I'm passing on this one. You're a student. You should go get him for him. Out of the question, he asked you to complete the mission, didn't he? Knowing him, there must be some profound meaning behind that decision. Are you sure? In fact, of course. In fact, I would even put money on it. All right, Mr. Vet, you better remember those words. If I deliver a small diamond to your teacher and there isn't some deep meaning behind it, you're going to pay up. And if it does turn out to be a deep meaning behind it, you'll be the one to pay up. Deal? Ugh, fine, you're on your own. All right, you're on. All right, then, best of luck on your mission, Private. You should be able to find a small diamond from digging in the mine. Be quick and deliver one to my teacher. Good thing I already have, like, 15 yeah, small diamonds. Baby. Yeah, baby. A side quest to lose a bet. Hell yeah. I didn't want my money anyways. Hey, Mr. Violinist, I got that small diamond you were asking for. Alright, just in case I need to memorize this one too. Let me erase the old note. Bup, bup, 
pa 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 Oh god, I dropped my stylus! Uh, are you trying to thank me? Alright. Okay, you lost me. Guess I'll just have to go back and ask Horatio. Good to see you made it back in one piece, Private. Report. I delivered the small diamond to your t-shirt, but all he gave me was some sort of new message. Sorry, but I need you to decode it for me. Of course, I'm the only one who can understand what he's saying, after all. No matter how big this world of ours be, I am the only one who understands him. That's right, me and no one else. <laughs> Why does he always get so excited? Is he so happy that he's working as my decoder? Now, what did my teacher have to say? Well, out with it, Private. Just shut up and stop rushing me, or else I might forget it. It went like... Uh, that one. Oh, so that's what he said. You figured it out? He said, bring me a gold nugget. Private Eye, I trust you've already figured out what your next mission is. I need to bring him a gold nugget? Exactly. You should be able to find a gold nugget in the mine. Be quick and deliver one to my teacher. Good thing I have 25 of those. Yo, Whiskers, here's your gold nugget. Okay, so that's the same response as the first time. He must be trying to thank me. Alright, so this is the one I have to mark down. Oh boy. I ran out of space. I had to rewrite some stuff. Alright, time to write for Horatio to shine again, and I really hope this is the last time. Good to see you made it back in one piece, Private. I respect your full report. I delivered the gold nugget to your teacher, but once again, he, all he gave me was a new message. Decode it! Of course, I'm the only one who can understand his words. Since long ago, in our current age, in a far fl and far into the future, across all planes of time and space, I am the only one who understands him. That's right, me and no one else. <laughs> he laughed so much that he choked himself. Now what did he, s now what did he say? Go on, no time to dilly-dally, Private. Shut up, just shut up! This one was super long, so I feel like I'm already on the verge of forgetting it. What did Henry play? Uh, that one. Yeah. Yes, now it makes perfect sense. Are you sure? Bring him a high-quality feather. And my military intuition tells me that your this is your final mission, Private. Your next mission. Skirmish with some ducks or mallards, and I'm sure you'll find a high-quality feather your or two. Next mission. Hunting may look cruel at first, but it's actually a great way to study the mysteries of nature. Get now, give him hay hell, Hayward. I don't actually have that. Yeah, baby. Oh, is that green dot guiding me to a duck zone? Or is that where the teacher is? Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a duck zone, baby. Yeah, Let's go! Bring hot, not hot fix, hypertext over the fence. Because it's right here. Quack. 
High quality feather. A feather taken from a water bird. High quality, lightweight, and resistant to cold. Oh! You okay, bud? You doing alright? Alright, you do you. <laughs> Just vibing. comes a special boy. Standing up! Hey, droopy eyes, I found you your high quality feather. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so that's it. Whoa, what are you doing here? Wait, tell me what he's saying. Apparently, he was asleep. Everything you heard him say was him sleep talking to you. What? You can even talk in your sleep with that stupid violin, old man? Yep, he also says he's sorry. Ah, uh, what a waste of time. Wait, do you remember our bet, Sarge? He was sleeping the whole time, which means there was no point to any of this. I won the bet, fair and square. Indeed. I'm not above admitting I was wrong. I'll also add a little on top, a little extra on top of a surprise, as for as thanks for helping out my yeah, teacher. Baby. Yeah, you're mighty welcome. Well, I guess it wasn't a total waste of time since I got some cash from it. Good work, Private. Consider this the end of the exercise and time to P-U-F-O. <laughs> Oh no, my dog went up. Thanks, as always. Uh... Oh, I'm very hungry, so I can go get the special mushroom dish now. I'm also very hungry in real life, but I can... I can smell that there is some makings of some uh, some breadsticks downstairs, so mayhap I will be able to partake. No. Ah, damn it. Abbreviation cursing in a Nintendo game. Well, there's also murder and incest I uh, implications in this Nintendo game, so... Uh, VIP dish. Mm -hmm. Uh, feed me. Good grief, are you starving yet? That'll be 1350. That sound alright? Yeah. Tough. You still don't look very starved. What? <laughs> Just how hungry do I need to be in order to meet your standards of starvation, huh? You need to be so hungry that you start to feel like your life is slipping away right in front of you. That sounds pretty dire. Good grief, I'm just saying you need to be on the brink of death, otherwise you'd be insulting my little lovelies here. Great. Oh, did my hunger go back up somehow? Here comes a special boy. I wish increasing your sheep's stats would also increase their stamina at all. That would be nice. Alright. Oh! Look at that stuffed sheep! It's so cute. Uh, 
Uh, where is... There's my computer. Congratulations on amassing 3,000 followers for a meager sum of 300 pounds. We'll increase your upload max by 8. Yeah, sure. The house upgrade came with a lot of free stuff. Inhabitants of the happiest town in the world, number one complete. 300 pounds. Oh, didn't give me another one, huh? Alright, uh... Drinking battle... Oh, I need to def... I needed to defeat the Red Squirrels while the quest was active? Come on. Oh, there you are. Yeah, baby! Still think it would be very funny if the game just ended after the curtain thing. That would be... Something, all right. Yeah, baby. Where am I going? All oh, right, I destroyed yeah, enough boxes. Baby. I can go to the farm. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Still feel a little foolish for going out of my way to do all these side quests when doing the sheep races is far and above the, the best way to earn money. Oh, Lonette's gone to bed? Come on. Alright, well, since I'm in the neighborhood, Skull Junk. You're up first. Whoa! Holy shit! What was that? Whoa! I'm I'm Okay. I'm I'm gone. I I fell through the world. I have entered the sub-ocean. I got an achievement because I'm going very fast down into nothingness. <laughs> I wonder if there is some kind of failsafe for this, or if I am <laughs> if I am now softlocked. Oh wait, can I open my menu? Oh, I can just warp home from here. Luigi, that wasn't weed. The great thing about this game is that it's a fucking pain in the ass to Google. Yeah. Is Mushroom and Evans still open? It's not. Look, I wasn't petting the sheep, I was grooming the sheep. Here's what I did when my substance abuse took over my life. Oh, great. Thanks, Google. It's Friday! And 
another three hours. God damn it, Bruno! I need my mush. Uh. Guess I can go yeah, groom baby. Abdullah and hypertext. Yeah, He might end up fainting before he opens the shop. That would be unfortunate. Yeah, baby. After putting on the rough dress, I went to obtain my sixth sheep. I parked it in the farm just fine, but when brushing it, I fell through the ground. I kept falling, so I opened up the map. It was going to cost 360 hours of energy to teleport home. <laughs> oh god. Oh right, because it's based off of how far away you are from home. Or at least it used to be. They've been doing some balance changes uh, yeah, in the baby. updates. Alright, and we're in. Bruno, mm -hmm. I need... I have a need. <laughs> Whoa, now you look like you're properly starving. Uh, shut up and feed me. I'm about to collapse. <laughs> right, I'm sure you'll be able to enjoy the dish to its full potential now. Just step on it. Hurry, hurry and feed me, or... Okay, just sit tight, I'll bring it right out to you. Be seeing you again. Seriously? Oh, it really is loaded with mushrooms. Yeah, baby! Now this is gonna be something worth picking out over. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, as always. Eat. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, oh sweet! Now I can order it without needing all of the ingredients. Awesome, because it gives a large stamina boost and medium stamina regen on top of everything else. Let's chat. Oh, perfect timing. Good grief! I'm knee deep in it now. Huh? Well, no promises, but I'll be happy to listen to you complain, at least. As you know, the vicar- Oh, hold up. There's an insect. Intruder alert. You. Alright. Dealt with for now. There's a single breadstick. I do want it, actually. I'm gonna go eat that right now. I'll be right back.
I've been pranked. I'm sure it was not an intentional prank, but I was not aware that the uh, breadsticks had cheese in them. So I had to also go take some some medication to help potentially make it so that cheese will not cause any issues. I, I was not pleased to be cheesed. Betrayed by cheese. I was... It was a cheese trap. It is fine if you just eat the cheese sticks next time there are cheese sticks, because I'm also just not a huge fan of the the stuffed bread sticks. If I'm gonna have it if I'm gonna have a mozzarella stick, I would rather just have a mozzarella stick. Plus, I would know ahead of time to <laughs> Well, okay. If you can't finish all of the all of the breadsticks, and there's like one cheese stick left. I can have a cheese stick. I just prefer to know ahead of time. I'm not unappreciative of being offered food. But I was severely pranked. <clears throat> Anyways. As you might know, the vicar loves to drink. He lo he drowns himself in the drink at Michelle's pub almost every day. Only problem is he's drinking something that even Michelle hasn't put in. He's drinking something that Michelle hasn't even put on the menu. You mean he's sneaking in his own stuff? Bingo. Michelle doesn't allow that sort of thing at her place, of course. Oh well, yeah, of course not. That's pretty damn low. Why doesn't Michelle? Why doesn't Michelle just let him have it? Well, she's a punk lass, isn't she? Rules are meant to be broken and all that palaver. Uh, okay. That's and to make matters worse, now even some of my customers have started follow following the vicar's example. Michelle doesn't care, they say. She lets the vicar do it all the time. But good grief, my restaurant isn't a BYOB restaurant either. Someone could bring their own mushrooms, eat them, and drop dead right there. Could you imagine the legal proceedings? Yeah, sounds like someone needs to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart with the vicar. Good grief, this whole thing could go a lot better if, we, if only we had some evidence. Don't suppose you could find... maybe get some photo evidence. What do we got? Take a picture of Vicar sneaking, drinking alcohol he snuck into the pub. Any moment now. I'll take that photo because it has the things. What if I need to take a photo from outside? Ta-da! We're on a stakeout. Ooh. Sausage, local meats, honey, rum butter, lemon cheese, chocolates, gift foods, and biscuits. Not having a drink on. Maybe he's more likely to do it later. 
Uh, all right. I need the endurance capsule for that. Martha Berryman eating lunch. Just a little late for that. Slow life on the farm. Right, she had gone to bed. Hey, Lonet. Yeah, what up? Let's chat. How's the destruction coming along? Now that's what I call a satisfied sheep wrangler. I can always already tell you went out and obliterated every barrel and box that was foolish enough to cross your path. Yeah, I broke some stuff, I guess. Yeah. Check you out, little Miss Badass. What did you expect, lady? I'm from New York. I grew up on the streets. Well, you finished your tests. Here's the reward, plus a little something extra. I'm glad to see your good pals with the sheep now, too, so be sure to visit the farm every so often, alright? <laughs> Thanks, as always. 65 pounds. Wow. What an amount of money. Let's go do a, a quick little sheep race to earn 455 pounds. Yeah, baby. And I think I may not actually go that much longer. My throat is starting to... to give out on me here. Mm-hmm. The, uh, that sword quest involved a whole heck of a lot of dialogue that was not voiced. I would like to race, please. I was trying to get a good time again because of all of the bad times that I got while I was trying to get high box and barrel breakage. Here I am, 48. Hypertext go. He is gone. I summon thee. Remember the good old days with the fifty four times? Yeah. I I can I can get there with a minute remaining if I just really haul ass, if I just get a perfect run. I'm a hundred percent sure. But for now, I think I will go ahead and call this a stream so that I can rest my voice. <laughs> Cause I did a lot of talking today. Uh, da, ba, ba, and then ba, ba. there we go. 
So, uh, thank you all so much for showing up and hanging out and chatting and all that good stuff. Uh, later on this week, upcoming streams and all that, uh, Thursday is going to be Guacamelee, and then Saturday will be more Sekiro. And then the following Monday... The following Monday is currently more up in the air. Because uh, I, I do want to uh, finish up uh, Ape Escape 2, get the last of those dang old monkeys. Hopefully we don't have to fight any more wizards, because oh my god, what a nightmare that was. Um, oh, thanks again. A huge, gigantic, overwhelmed thank you to Dan for the... What I believe to be $100 worth of donations, two $50 donations. Uh, it is extremely, extremely appreciated. I, I will I will put at least some of that towards uh, getting a screen for my window because it was something that I was already planning on doing and that's as, as good an excuse as any uh, so yeah thanks again everyone for showing up and hanging out and chatting and all that good stuff and hopefully I will see you all again on Thursday for guacamole have a good evening <laughs>